यूज केस सिक्सटीन अलाउ केस डिलीशन ओनली बाई सिस्टम एडमिन यूजर्स ना देर आर डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ रीडिंग दिस वॉट डज दिस ट्राई टू टेल यू इट्स टेलिंग यू दैट द केस डिलीशन और रैदर एनी रिकॉर्ड ऑफ द केस ऑब्जेक्ट शुड ओनली बी डिलीटेड बाई दी सिस्टम एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स वॉट डज दट इम्प्लाई नो अदर यूजर ऑफ एनी अदर प्रोफाइल कैन डिलीटेड सो वॉट डू वी डू शुड वी अलाउ द यूजर टू अलाउ द सिस्टम एडमिन टू डू हिज टफ और नॉट अलाउ द अदर यूजर्स टू डिलीट द रिकॉर्ड वी हैव टू नॉट अलाउ द अदर गाइज राइट बिकॉज केस डिलीशन बाई एडमिन्स विल ऑलरेडी वर्क ऑटोमेटिकली वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू पुट एनी एनी शो स्टॉपर और अ ब्लॉकर देर वी वॉन्ट टू स्टॉप द अदर गाइज राइट सो इट इम्प्लाइज दैट वी हैव टू पुट अ चेक और रैदर वी हैव टू थ्रो एन एरर टू एनी वन एल्स हु इज नॉट द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर वेन एवर दे ट्राई टू डिलीट अ केस All right. Let's try doing this. So this would be on what object? This would be on the case object. Correct. And what is the event? You want to stop them from deleting it. So before delete or after delete? Before delete. Cool. Let's go to developer console and let's open the case trigger. Do we have a case trigger? Yes, we do. And here we want to write another event that is your before delete event. okay now before delete event is here this is probably one of the starting use cases we did so we have written code here but ideally avoid writing code on the trigger file write it on the handler okay so let's close this bracket and this will be is before is delete let's say save and i'll just say case trigger handler dot handle before delete what do i pass this is the delete event what do we have available we have trigger dot old i hope the previous examples have helped you decide that this should throw me an error case trigger is it should not be here it should be case trigger handler save even this should throw me an error i don't have the handle file yes now i'll just copy this and i'll say create a new apex class for me and here i'll just add my method public static void handle before delete it's accepting list of case records which are old save okay let's go ahead and save this now cool no errors right now let's start iterating over the records that we have so for each case record that we have in the old records we want to check which profile is currently logged in who has reached this particular context right so understand this whenever you run something you are running it on the user context you are logged in as a user and when you try to delete things the system captures your context and that context can be made available here you can check who is currently logged in you can check who what is the name of the person what is the profile of the person you can do the, those kind of things there is a specific class for that and that class is the user info class okay so before going any further i think we can stop the user somewhere here so instead of writing the for loop i can simply check i have the user info class and I, and if you see if when i hit the dot operator i get all the information now here if you notice what do we have to understand whether the user is a system admin or or not right and system admin is nothing but the profile name okay so can i check the profile by using this get profile id what will this method do this method will return me the system at this this method will return me the profile id the record id of the profile that the current user logged in has right if i quickly query select id comma name from profile okay what does this return this returns all the list of profile names with their ids so this method right here get profile id from the user info class will give me the profile of the person who is currently logged in i mean the id this id right here this is the unique record id right and what we want to do is we want to know what is the record id of the system administrator and then we can say if the currently logged in user's profile id does not matches the system admin's id we can say it's someone else and we'll just say don't don't delete it you you are not allowed to delete it okay now first of all let me store this id id current users current user profile id equals user info dot get profile id let's hit the save button okay and now what i want to do is i want to query the profile id of the system admin so what do i do i say id 
sysadmin profile id equals and i query the profile object yes even profile object can be queried now hide how do i identify that the profile that i'm wanting to query is the system admin guy do i have an identifier i have an identifier and that is the name right so i can just copy this name and i can just paste it here i can say where name equals system administrator and this should return me only one row and that's your system administrator profile okay so i'll just copy this particular where clause and i'll paste it on my handler so i'll just say select id comma name from profile where name is equal to system administrator and i can just put limit one ideally there's only one system administrator profile but safe side put limit one okay now this right here is a circle query and we are trying to equate it to an id field now see what the problem is saying it's saying illegal assignment from list to id so all your circles are bulkified right they return a list of list of uh, records right so in order for you to be able to fetch the id from here you can use the dot operator in the end and you can say id and say safe and this is true only when you have only one record in your circle query if you have any chance that there will be multiple this thing will not work okay this will fail drastically take a look again what did i do in the very first line i got the current users profile id okay let's say i am the what profiles do i have here let's see let's say i am the analytics cloud integration user okay so what will this first line return this first line will return me the current users profile id which is this particular id right here cool that's the first line executed second line is trying to query the profile where the name is system administrator limit one okay so what will this do this will take a look at all the profiles where the name is system admin this guy right here will pop up and this id will be written by using the dot id at the end okay and this will be assigned to this particular id variable here now simple take a look if i say if system admin profile id is not equal to current user profile id i can throw the error yes yes i can throw the error but to throw an error you need the s object context so because we are on a trigger context and that's kind of a bulk trigger we have to iterate over our case records here so i'll say for each case record that has come in old records okay i'll just say if the current logged in users id is not equal to system admin id which means this guy is not the system administrator i am not letting this guy delete the record so i'll say case rec dot add error you don't have the rights go away okay i'll just say save looks good let's try to test it out so i'll go to cases let's go to case object and let's try to delete a record okay who am i logged in as i'm logged in as a system administrator and if i click on the delete button it should not let me it should not throw me the error it should let me delete it let's see see it got deleted all right now let's do something let's log in as some other guy so i'll go ahead and try to log in as some other profile okay so i'll go to profiles let's open the custom sales profile i believe and do we have case access on the custom sales profile let's see cases yeah we have read create edit access delete access is missing so let's go ahead and try to give it the delete access either by creating a clone or let's just edit this here let's see if it lets us allow, uh, edit it so cases okay can i give the delete permission yeah so you see i'm giving the delete permission okay on the profile level which means they should be allowed but I, I'll, I'll be stopping them from the trigger level okay let's try to see let's save this and i'll just create a new user of this profile type okay so that we can try to log in and see what happens All right, this got saved and I want to log in as this guy now, right? So before, I, I don't want to log in by username and password. So I'll just say login access policies. And I'll just say admin can log in as any user. Okay, so this will let the administrator log in as any user in the system. Let's go to users and now I'll just log into this guy by using this login button. Let's do this. 
So I'll say login. And now this is logged in as Himanshu MAH, right? The custom sales guy. Now if I go to cases and if I open all the open cases and I try to delete this record and I say okay. So you see this is saying you don't have the rights, go away. This is in custom. I mean this is in classic, right? So you get the error like this. If it if you were in lightning, you would get the error similar to how you get a toast message. So you see, there was a validation error while saving your records and there was a custom validation error encountered. The, fa the first one that we encountered was you don't have the rights, go away. That's our trigger error that's popping up. Cool? So that was use case 16. We were successfully able to check if the current user's logged in profile is not equal to system admin profile, we did not allow the user to delete the record. Okay? And what Specially, did we use? We used the user info class. The user info class is very powerful. It gives you the information about which user is currently logged in, whether their session is active, what is the name of the user, the first name, the last name, what is their locale information, what is their org ID currently there in, all of this information, their default currency, all of this information resides in the user info object and that is easily accessible simply by using the keyword user info. Okay, if you wanted to check the name of the person who's logged in, you could just say user info dot get first name, get last name. Those things are available. So if I just simply type user info dot, you see all of this stuff is available. Org ID, profile ID, name, locale, theme, user ID, role, everything is available. Okay, so if there's a requirement where you need to, need to check if the role matches or not, if the currency matches or not, you can always do this by using the user info class. Cool, so not just triggers, we are also learning about Salesforce. Right? Alright, that was use case 16. I'll see you in the next one.